One of the hottest selling projector categories of 2024 is the portable projector category. And the reason? Well, obviously that everybody now is looking for a big screen OTT experience. And at the same time, the flexibility of carrying the projector around your home as well as outside your home. And lastly, for the gamers, you want something to connect your gaming console to. The TV will not necessarily justify those needs. Now, I have seen many people asking me for good projectors under 50,000 and I have not recommended many models. If you want to know the reason for it, you can check that over here. But I definitely have the list for best portable projectors under 1 lakh rupees to buy in our country. Starting off from the bottom of the list, we have ViewSonic M2E projector, which is almost third or fourth generation in their M series of lineup, which is portable lineup. Now, M2E is actually one of the lightest projectors in the portable category, which is almost around 1 kg only. It offers full HD resolution with its LED light source. Now, ViewSonic's proprietary color technology promises to deliver 125% REC 709 color output on screen. Wi-Fi for mobile casting, Bluetooth for audio pairing, USB C connection for Nintendo Switch, HDMI input for laptop connection, USB and micro SD reader, and aux port for physical wired connections to any audio devices. Well, ViewSonic M2E definitely offers something for everyone in the connectivity. With 1000 LED lumens of brightness, which equals to about 420 unsigned lumens, it is decent for bedrooms or really dark living or media rooms. However, there are four downsides due to which this projector is ranked fifth in our list. The first one is the loud fan noise of 29 dB. The second one is 66 milliseconds input lag, which probably may not impress a lot of gamers. The third one is that it does not have Android compatibility. It uses their own proprietary software. And lastly, the maximum screen size that you can achieve with ViewSonic M2E is only 100 inches. At number four, we have the BenQ GP100A. Now the A stands for Android. So definitely BenQ has kind of safeguarded us out here. But let us look at the other facts of BenQ GP100A. It is an upgrade to the GV series and the GP100A has actually got a handbag like design due to its belt strap. It offers 1000 unsigned lumens of brightness from its LED source and delivers 97% REC 709 colors on screen with HDR10 support. The maximum screen size in this case is 120 inches diagonal and the digital zoom helps you reduce the screen size if you want to get the TV size matched to your projector experience. It has got a very impressive sound system and autofocus is also very very precise. However, where they lack is the auto keystone correction. Although the black levels are not very very detailed, but definitely with the Netflix app built in in this Android OS, the projector is still worthy enough to be in our list. Now, since we are talking about projectors, we definitely cannot miss on the Epson projectors. And that's why the third product that is in our list is the Epson Epic Vision EF11 projector. Now, Epson EF11 offers 150 inches screen size from its laser light source. Yes, it uses laser light source, giving amazing 20,000 hours to 30,000 hours of life. The brightness is 1000 unsigned lumens from this 3 chip 3 LCD projector, which can actually beat the likes of DLP projectors offering the same brightness due to its high white as well as high color light output. The sound is not great and definitely you need a speaker or headphone paired with this projector. But the auto picture adjustment corrects the vertical geometry for a nice viewing experience. The projector is a little outdated when it comes to connectivity options as it does not have a USB Type-C port and even the HDMI is 1.4 version. Since there is no built-in OS, you definitely have to spend more on a separate media player and for achieving a 100 inch screen size, you have to put this projector at a 9.5 feet distance. Probably that's why a lot of people miss out on this projector in the portable category. However, to those of you who are looking for good brightness on the screen and a fantastic viewing experience even during daytime, this projector can be a worthy option to consider. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Well, the reason why I'm saying that is because we have got a projector which actually eliminates all the throw distance related problems once and for all. Now this projector that I'm talking about is the 4Movie R1 Nano projector, which is an ultra short throw projector is a portable projector. It is the world's smallest ultra short throw projector and also the world's lightest ultra short throw projector. R1 Nano projector from 4Movie delivers 1200 unsigned lumens of brightness from its ALPD laser light source. It has 100% REC 709 certification and to see these colors on a 100 inch screen, the projector has to be only 1.5 feet away from the wall. The connectivity options are latest in industry standards with HDMI ARC, Bluetooth 5.0, 
USB Type C, USB Type A, and AUX port. Now, the biggest downside in the Far Movie projector is the Chinese Feng OS, which we have already spoken about in one of our old Far Movie X5 video, which you can check here. Now, since this Chinese Feng OS is literally unreadable for everyone, the company sends these projectors with the Fire TV stick in the Indian markets. Due to the laser light source and the ultra short throw technology, the fan noise of this projector is 30 decibel, which is pretty high. And unfortunately, the built in speakers are not well calibrated or probably do not have that kind of power output to match with the video experience. And that's why pairing it with an external audio system is a must. However, with versatile applications in home, office, as well as teaching environment, for movie R1 Nano deserves to be at second position in our list. And in the first position, we have the Exime Horizon projector. Now, I know many of you would wonder that Exime Horizon is a old projector and why does it deserve to be on the list of 2024? Well, the reason for it is that no other projector has come closer to what Exime Horizon has to offer at a price point of 1 lakh rupees. Now, Exime as a brand also continues to dominate the portable category of projectors and the 1700 ANSI lumens of brightness along with 300 inches diagonal of projection screen size is still higher compared to any other model in our list. The projector has also got HDR10, MEMC, auto screen alignment, keystone and autofocus. Now these are some of the features that has captured the eyes of many projector users across the world and the Android TV OS is decent enough until you realize that there is no Netflix for which you may have to still buy a separate media player. But when it comes to achieving a premium home cinema experience, especially when you're paying a premium amount of 1 lakh rupees in India, you deserve to get the best which is only possible right now with the Exime Horizon model. And if you want to watch the full detailed video of this product, please check the link above. And to those of you who have already witnessed some of these projectors or have got some more models to share, please feel free to comment in the comment section. And to those of you who want to grab the best deals for these projectors, please check the link that is shared in the description as well as in the pinned section. That's it from my end. I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya. We'll see you again in the next video. Till then, if you need anything in AV, simply tap AV.